Hi guys. So today I want to chat about something really, really interesting. Usually when it comes to crypto, people either get super excited or just totally confused. But nowadays guys, crypto isn't just about let's throw some money in and hope Bitcoin blows up. The whole crypto scene is changing and more companies are starting to make products for everyday folks. That's exactly what we are diving into today, guys. How crypto brands are switching things up to attract regular people and why it actually matters. When someone says crypto, what's the first thing that comes to mind? For a lot of people, it used to be all about charts, prices, and traders glued to their screens. Everyone was just thinking buy low, sell high. Basically, a whole lot of speculation. But that's slowly changing. Companies are starting to get that if crypto is going to be a real part of our daily lives, gotta be more than just betting on price jumps. So now the idea is let's make stuff that's actually useful in real life. Whether it's for gaming, shopping, digital rights, or even managing your own content. And they're using new tech for this, like NFTs and easy payment systems. First thing I want to talk about is digital ownership. And that's where NFTs come into play. If you guys haven't heard about NFTs, let me break it down for you. They are unique digital items like pictures, music or game gear. What's cool about them is that you actually own them. Not like before when you'd buy something in a game and it was yours only while the game was running. If the server crashed, goodbye to your stuff. With NFTs you truly own your digital assets. For example, if you buy an NFT artwork, it's yours. You can show it off, sell it or give it to someone, all without needing any middleman. It's all locked into the blockchain. Oh, and since we are talking about digital assets and ownership, there is this one project that really shows how you can create and own your own virtual worlds. It's called Seed Vault. It's a new project by Cdefy, the biggest Web3 gaming incubator which has been around since 2021. Seedvault already offers some awesome tools for creating your own games, virtual worlds and even ways to monetize them. No joke guys, check this out. You can create your own universe where brands, content creators and game studios can develop their own unique projects. And the best part, it's super easy and accessible. You build it, you own it and you control it. Seed World has a huge growth potential. Look at the Web3 competitors like Sandbox and Decentraland. They each have market caps around $600 million. But Seedworld? It started with less than 3 million, which means there is massive room for growth. And if you compare it to traditional gaming platforms like Roblox, for example, Roblox has millions of active users and a market value of $26 billion. Seedworld could definitely give these giants a run for their money. Oh guys, and another cool feature, the s token, which will be used right away in their ecosystem. For example, by staking tokens, you can earn free land NFTs. So don't miss out. The token launch is happening on October 23rd and it's going to live on six blockchains at once. All the useful links will be down in the video description, guys. Don't miss your chance to jump on board something with huge potential. Now let's get back to main topic. As my subscribers and regular viewers know, there are already tons of projects that are working actively with NFTs. If you missed out, be sure to check out some of the videos on my channel. There is a lot of interesting stuff like this. Basically, there are already projects out there that give people the chance to truly own digital items, not just borrow them temporarily. This is attracting a whole new crowd, people who might not be super into crypto, but love gaming or collecting things. Another cool thing is crypto payments. 
A lot of companies are working to make it as easy to pay with crypto as it is with your regular bank card. I mean, we all know that sending Bitcoin to someone isn't exactly quick or simple, right? You've got to copy the wallet address, confirm the transaction, and even then it might take a while to go through. It's not exactly user-friendly, right? But companies are already thinking about how to make this whole process super easy and straightforward. Take Fuse for example. They are working on payment solutions that anyone can understand. Imagine this, you walk into a bar, order a drink, and all you have to do is scan a code on your phone to pay with crypto. No hassle, just quick and easy. And this isn't just some science fiction thing, it's actually happening around the world now. I've got a video about Fuse in case you are interested in diving deeper into this topic. The third thing I want to talk about is how people's perception of crypto is changing. A lot of brands are now working hard to show that crypto can be used in all kinds of areas. From digital identity, where you can securely verify yourself online, to apply chain tracking or even content management. Like, say you create content, whether it's music, articles or art. The blockchain you can ensure your rights as a creator are protected, so no one can steal or use your work without permission. This is all starting to roll out and brands are really focusing on it. And lastly, let's talk about users moving from the old Web 2 to the new decentralized Web 3. Right now, for a lot of people working with crypto, still seems way too complicated. You've got to download a wallet, figure out how transactions work, and all that can be pretty intimidating for regular users. But guys, companies get it. They know that for crypto to really go mainstream, they need to simplify the interfaces and make things easier. For example, creating user-friendly wallets where you don't have to worry about all the technical stuff just to get started. I've actually got a video about one of these, it's Tidus Wallet. Or think about integrating crypto with services we already use like online stores or apps. Companies are working to make crypto just as normal in our daily lives as smartphones are. Like, imagine going to a website, linking your wallet and buying something just like in any other online store. Everything is getting simpler and more accessible. So as you can see guys, crypto is no longer something just for the tech professionals. Brands are making more and more products for regular people like us, creating products that are actually useful in everyday life. Whether it's owning digital assets with NFTs, easy to use payment systems, or using crypto for things like content management or identification, it's clear that crypto isn't just about trading or speculation anymore. It's about how it can make life easier and a lot more fun. So, what do you think, guys? Are you ready to pay for your coffee with Bitcoin or start collecting digital penguins? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't already. There is a lot more cool stuff coming up. See you in the next video.